Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Everyone missed it. Prince Harry honored his mother Princess Diana during wedding in beautiful way. Although the royal wedding seems like a great way to burn through $43 million of British taxpayer money at least Prince Harry did something that was good with that huge gift. Losing a parent is something that can devastate a person of any age, and it couldn't have been easy for Prince Harry when he lost what is possibly the last royal family member who ever had the respect of the entire world. Diana Princess of Wales. He was only 12 then. But 20 years after his mother Diana was KD in a tragic car accident as her driver was trying to evade the constant cameras Prince Harry decided to honor his mother in a way that not many in this world could ever dream of being able to do for their own mothers. Princess Diana was there in spirit throughout the whole engagement and her son and daughter-in-law made sure to include her memory every step of the way. At the wedding ceremony, the couple left a seat open for her. If she had been alive, that's where she would have sat to watch her youngest son exchange wedding vows. Even the engagement ring, Prince Harry gave Meghan Markle used two diamonds from his mother's personal collection and Markle's classic bouquet of flowers had some of Diana's favorite flowers, forget-me-nots, which Harry picked himself the day before the wedding. They also involved Lady Jane Fellows, Princess Diana's sister, in the ceremony, where they had her read from Song of Solomon at St. George's Chapel. And last but not least Markle did what both Princess Diana and Kate Middleton did to their vows. They all omitted the word obey. It's nice to see all these tributes to a woman who was not only a great mother to both her sons, but who was so important to a world that so needed her. Here is more on Princess Diana via biography. Princess Diana was Princess of Wales while married to Prince Charles. One of the most adored members of the British royal family, she died in a 1997 car crash. Who was Princess Diana? Born Diana Spencer on July 1, 1961, Princess Diana became Lady Diana Spencer after her father inherited the title of Earl Spencer in 1975. She married the heir to the British throne, Prince Charles, on July 29, 1981. They had two sons and later divorced in 1996. Diana died on August 31, 1997, from injuries she sustained in a car crash in Paris. She is remembered as the People's Princess because of her widespread popularity and global humanitarian efforts. British royalty Princess Diana Spencer was born on July 1, 1961, near Sandringham, England. Diana, Princess of Wales, was one of the most adored members of the British royal family. She was the daughter of Edward John Spencer, Viscount Althorpe, and Frances Ruth Burke Roche, Viscountess Althorpe, later known as the Honourable Frances Sham Kidd. Her parents divorced when Diana was young, and her father won custody of the children. Following her initial education at home, Diana attended Riddlesworth Hall School and then West Heath School. She became Lady Diana Spencer after her father inherited the title of Earl Spencer in 1975. Although she was known for her shyness while growing up, she did show an interest in music and dancing. Diana also had a great fondness for children. After attending finishing school at Institut Alpin Vidimonet in Switzerland, she moved to London. She began working with children, eventually becoming an assistant at Young England Kindergarten. Marriage to Prince Charles Diana was no stranger to the British royal family, having reportedly played with Prince Andrew and Prince Edward as a child while her family rented Park House, an estate owned by Queen Elizabeth II. In 1977, she became reacquainted with her older brother, Prince Charles, who was 13 years her senior. As the heir to the British throne, Prince Charles was usually the subject of media attention, and his courtship of Diana was no exception. The press and the public were fascinated by this seemingly odd couple, the reserved, garden-loving prince and the shy young woman with an interest in fashion and popular culture. When the couple married on July 29, 1981, the ceremony was broadcast on television around the world, with millions of people tuning in to see what many considered to be the wedding of the century. Family Life and Divorce On June 21, 1982, Diana and Charles had their first child, Prince William Arthur Philip Lewis. He was joined by a brother, Prince Henry Charles Albert David known widely as Prince Harry more than two years later, on September 15, 1984. Initially overwhelmed by her royal duties and the intense media coverage of nearly every aspect of her life, she began to develop and pursue her own interests. Diana served as a strong supporter of many charities and worked to help the homeless, people living with HIV and AIDS and children in need. Unfortunately, the fairy tale wedding of Princess Diana and Prince Charles did not lead to a happily ever after marriage. The two became estranged over the years, and there were reports of infidelities from both parties. During their union, 
Diana struggled with depression and bulimia. The couple's separation was announced in December 1992 by British Prime Minister John Major, who read a statement from the royal family to the House of Commons. The divorce was finalized in 1996. How did she die? Even after the divorce, Diana maintained a high level of popularity. She devoted herself to her sons and to such charitable efforts as raising awareness about the dangers of leftover landmines in war-torn Angola. She also continued to experience the negative aspects of fame, whipping the British tabloids into a frenzy when she began dating Egyptian film producer and playboy Dottie Fade in 1997. Controversy and Legacy Following an investigation into the fatal accident, a report released in 1999 determined that the driver was at fault for driving at a high speed while under the influence of alcohol and antidepressant drugs. Charges were dropped against several photographers who were initially blamed for causing the crash. Despite the report, rumors persisted for years about alternative reasons for the accident. One conspiracy theory held that it was part of an assassination arranged by the royal family, although no additional evidence emerged to support that theory. In 2007, just before the 10th anniversary of her death, Princes William and Harry honored their beloved mother with a special concert that took place on what would have been her 46th birthday. The proceeds of the event went to charities supported by Diana and her sons. Prince William and his wife Kate Middleton also remembered Diana when naming their second child, Princess Charlotte Elizabeth Diana, who was born on May 2, 2015. Continuing her charitable efforts, the Diana, Princess of Wales Memorial Fund was founded after her death to provide resources for palliative care, penal reform, asylum and other issues. In 2013, the fund was incorporated into the Royal Foundation of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and Prince Harry. In 2017, 20 years after her death, a collection of Diana's memorable ensembles earned an exhibition at Kensington Palace. Later that year, it was revealed that her life had inspired a musical, simply titled Diana. The production reportedly offered a dramatized version of her days leading up to the royal wedding in 1981, and was set to debut at San Diego's La Jolla Playhouse in 2018. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.